In the previous lecture, we were able to derive a relationship between the average translational kinetic energy of an ideal gas molecule and the temperature. So we said that if we have the following closed container, inside the closed container we have a bunch of ideal gas molecules. If we increase the total pre the overall pressure of our gaseous system, well then the average translational kinetic energy of the molecules inside our system will also increase. Now although at any given moment different molecules may have different translational kinetic energies, on average they will have a quantity equal to the following equation. So in the previous lecture we were able to derive the following equation using the kinetic molecular theory of ideal gases. So we said that the average translational kinetic energy of our ideal gas molecule is equal to the product of 3 multiplied by K Boltzmann constant multiplied Multiplied by T, the temperature given in kelvins, and divide that by 2. And this is equivalent to 1 half multiplied by M, the mass of that molecule, multiplied by the average value of the square of the velocity of that molecule. So notice if we take this equation that we derived in the previous lecture and we solve the equation for the average value of the square velocity, we obtain the following result. So we simply multiply both sides by 2 and divide both sides by m. And we find that the average value of the square of the velocity is equal to the product of 3 times k times t divided by m. Now if we take this result and we take the square root of both sides, we obtain something known as the root mean square velocity of our molecule. So VRMS, the root mean square velocity is equal to the square of 3 kT divided by m, where once again m is the mass, k is the Boltzmann constant, 1.38 times 10 to the negative 23 uh, joules per Kelvin, and this T is the temperature given in Kelvins. So, now, if we know the actual velocities of every single molecule within our system, we can find the root mean square velocity by using the following equation. So the magnitude of the root mean square velocity of our molecule is equal to the square root of the sum of the squares of the absolute values of every single molecule as shown. So we divide that sum by the total number of molecules in our system given by capital N. So these are two ways in which we can find the magnitude of the root mean square velocity. Now let's look at the following example in which we're going to use this equation as well as this equation. So estimate the average kinetic energy of an ideal gas molecule that is at 30 degrees Celsius and what is the root mean square velocity of an oxygen molecule at the same exact temperature. So let's begin by recalling the Lewis dot structure of our diatomic oxygen molecule. So in a diatomic oxygen molecule we have two oxygen atoms as shown that are double bonded. So we have a sigma bond as well as a pi bond and each oxygen atom has two pairs of electrons as shown. Now every single atom has a mass of 16 unified atomic mass units. So that means the total mass of our diatomic oxygen molecule is 2 multiplied by 16, so 32 unified atomic mass units. Now recall that one unified atomic mass unit is equal to 1.66 times 10 to negative 27 kilograms. 
So, because we want to calculate the root mean square velocity, we need the mass in kilograms. So that means the mass of a single diatomic oxygen molecule is equal to 32 unified atomic mass units multiplied by 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms in a single unified atomic mass unit. The use cancel and this is our mass of our diatomic oxygen molecule in kilograms. So let's begin with calculating uh, the average translational kinetic energy of any molecule at this temperature. So we have to use this equation. Our average K is equal to 3 times K times T divided by 2. Now K is the Boltzmann constant. That is equal to 1.38 times 10 to negative 23 joules per Kelvin. Now this temperature has to be given in Kelvins. So to calculate the Kelvin temperature, we take this value and add 273 to it. So we have 303 Kelvins multiplied by the Boltzmann constant multiplied by 3 divided by 2. And we see that the average translational kinetic energy of any molecule at that temperature is 6.27 times 10 to negative 21 joules. Now, to calculate the root mean square velocity, we have to use this equation. So, 3 times the Boltzmann constant multiplied by the temperature in Kelvin divided by the mass of our diatomic oxygen molecule that we found in this part. So we take the product, divide, take the square root, and we get that the root mean square velocity, or the magnitude of it, is equal to about 486 meters per second, which is above the speed of sound in air.